name is Mary Ahern Murphy and uh, Rachel is my daughter-in-law. She's married to my eldest son. I would like to nominate her for the Adult Bravery Award. Um, I was born on the north coast of New South Wales, a small town called Bellingen. Um, stayed there for roughly seven years before then moving into central New South Wales and moved around various towns there. Um, at 15 I moved to Sydney and um, then in 2001 moved to Ireland. Aidan is my eldest son and as I said and he uh, was on a flight to the USA on holidays with three of his buddies and Rachel was sitting beside his best friend. Um, yeah, that's, that's how we met, on a flight to uh, an Australian girl living in Dublin, on a flight to New York, meeting a Limerick lad flying to New York. So they got chatting on the flight and they, when they arrived in New York, they parted, um, but they had exchanged hotels is where they were staying. And uh, we organised to go sightseeing together in New York and the rest is history. On a weekend in Limerick, Rachel suffered blurred vision and uh, some ringing and buzzing in her ears. Which could actually be heard from outside my head. I noticed a deterioration in Rachel. Mary noticed that I was dragging my left leg behind me. I wasn't really quite fully aware. Although I was aware something wasn't quite right, I wasn't fully aware of the fact that I had started dragging my leg behind me. So by this stage, I was beginning to panic, and so was poor Rachel. And by, by the time she was admitted and a couple of hours later she'd had a full-blown stroke, stroke and was unable to walk. Lucky now, my mother, um, oh, I don't know how she did it, but I spoke to her on um, that Monday night that, that I had the stroke and I mean I'll never forget the, the sound in her voice. Her mum got on a flight and came from Sydney uh, on her own which was absolutely horrendous for her. So I had the stroke on Monday night and my mother arrived on Wednesday evening. Now, anyone who's flown to Australia knows that there's pretty much only just enough time to get on a flight and, and get that far in that time. Um, Aidan decided, we'll try and give Rachel a boost. Yes, um, Aidan, who had pretty much been coasting along as men tend to do, thinking yet all of the time in the world. Sat down and bent knee. In front of everyone in the hospital and uh, asked me to marry him. I mean, it was a bit, it was a bit dramatic, I know. <laughs> a bit of a dramatic way to get my boyfriend to propose to me, but it did work. This year I did the women's mini marathon. So it was my first time doing it. I really didn't know if I was capable. Her determination and her courage and her fight has just been incredible. I'd like to um, thank Mary for nominating me. I'd like to thank the Irish Heart Foundation for uh, actually uh, for choosing me. God knows why they did. Um, and yeah, really thank everyone who's supported me. What more can I say about Rach except she's just such a wonderful girl. Her fight, her determination, her courage, her strength just has been incredible to come back from such a serious illness.